Uh, so we're here in the Mars building in Toronto. This is kind of the uh, center of, of innovation and technology, uh, both for, for healthcare and fin financial services. And there's some big companies in here, like Facebook and Airbnb. Um, and there's a lot of great innovation and history in this building of innovation that goes on. And, um, there's uh, just as much history as there is with gold and, and doing things around gold has not been innovative in a long while, so it's kind of interesting to, to be here to talk about how we can do some innovative things using the most modern technology uh, with the world's kind of oldest and best performing currency uh, to really transform how businesses can transact around the world. So, BitGold recently launched an invoicing feature yeah. for uh, business owners. What does that do? Well, it's kind of the next phase of the whole platform, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, you know, this whole notion of, you know, BitGold obviously modernized uh, the whole way people can buy and sell gold. But um, the whole idea of being able to use gold as a global currency through one global debit network is a really big idea and it's very visionary. Uh, the founders of the company, Roy and Josh, had some amazing thoughts around it. Um, and that's what got me inspired to kind of join the company as well. It's just this idea of how can we reinvent the entire process for businesses and consumers to be able to, to transact globally. And, and, you know, I've spent a lot of time in payments and cross-border payments and banking systems and understand all the kind of way the settlement systems work. And at, at one level, it's kind of amazing how transactions happen. And at the other hand, it's kind of scary to see how much inefficiency there is in terms of just being able to move money from point A to point B. I mean, yeah, it gets there, but there's so many hands in the pot um, because you know banking systems are typically national, currencies are national. Um, as citizens, though, we're doing more and more business globally, um, and um, you know, talking less about enterprises and corporations, but just even smaller businesses, freelancers, developers. You know, 80% of businesses are small business, and 80% of those small businesses are services based. Um, so they're they're looking to get paid for their labor, um, and you know they're doing more and more transactions globally. The, the idea of being able to use gold as being the most stable and highest performing currency. If I'm going to peg my life against a currency, I mean, actually, you can take a step back and say, what is money? How do you define money itself? And there's lots of formal definitions of unit of account, store of value, medium of exchange, blah, blah, blah. I, the way I look at money, money equals stored labor. Right? You, you do something, you, you produce a good, you sell it, you, you deliver a service, and you get paid for it. And so money represents that stored labor. So it's a basic level, I'd want to store my labor in, in a currency that performs better than the best. Um, and you have some of that currency right here, right? So. I do, yeah. I feel like I always have gold hanging around. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, the, it's nice having the physical gold and the elements in the, in, around that. Um, but as, as elegant as gold is, it wasn't very that usable from a modern technology and commerce standpoint because it's not like I can shave off a bit of this and pay you with it. But now with the platform, we basically overhauled the entire settlement infrastructure, not only for gold, but payments in general. Like we've, we've moved out of the whole central bank stack. So if I need to, you know, if I own a piece of gold sitting here, one of these is worth, uh, this is worth uh, today is worth about $520 Canadian, uh, which is kind of surprising to think something that small. So yeah, this is several thousand dollars here. Um, the, the notion of um, being able to pay someone, so I can buy gold on the platform and pay someone else with it, how it works is, you know, I can buy, or I either have a gold holding already, or I can uh, buy gold very efficiently for within 1%. I have that sitting securely in a vault, and if I want to send that as payment to you, the physical gold doesn't have to move. The gold is validated and verified that it's actually in the vault in your name. And we just shift title from person A to person B. So now, David, you own this gold, or any percentage of that gold. 
uh, and that's the beauty of the Bitgold platform is that it allows basically a real-time settlement of a transaction from person A to person B using gold as kind of the bridge for the asset. So you're just skipping the whole local currency layer until it's already settled. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Look, the, no matter where you are in the world, uh, processing your credit cards, what, 2 to 3% process a credit card, and then you have to deal with foreign exchange risk, right? 2 to 3%. Yeah. Um, and if you look at if you look at the invoicing category itself, it's a you know, multi, multi billion dollar category business to business and business to consumer invoicing. In the last five to 10 years, it's moved from paper format to electronic format in terms of bill creation, bill presentment, and even bill payment at some level. But, but actually there's this elasticity point in invoicing where as soon as you go over $1,000, most people don't want to get dings two, three, four, five percent charges in order to get paid for that. For that invoice. So they're like, all right, I'll wait for a check in the mail, or I'll, I'll do these other kind of inefficient ways of doing it, or I'll accept these other currencies and sit on these other currencies, and then they volatile, um, uh, both, you know, they move up and down in various different forms, different things, so you take on some risks. And we just thought there's got to be a better way to do this using gold, and using gold as a, a, a gold global currency. Um, so how it works basically is it's a very elegant, simple invoicing tool. It's free to use. Uh, we don't charge any setup fees or, or monthly fees. Um, and I can bill anyone in any currency. So there's a filter in terms of showing what currency you want the actual invoice. So if you want to invoice in US dollars, Canadian dollars, euros, British pounds. But when you're doing that calculation, it's also showing the gold gram equivalent. And you all you need is um, someone's email address. You can, on the platform, you can add all your customer contact info, you can add all your inventory items, just like most other invoicing systems. So what do you see some of the use cases being for the business accounts and payroll features? Uh, yeah, I think there's a few different things. Uh, probably where I'm most excited, actually, is, is I mean, goods and services. And, and simplifying cross-border transactions so people aren't exchanging currencies and exchanging value. That in itself is very interesting, but I think a subset of that, I really like the idea of disrupting payroll. And you know, this notion that, you know, just because you live in here versus here, you get paid in a different currency, or your, is your labor valued differently? Yeah, it shouldn't be. Um, and so how can we make it very simple for both employers and employees to to give the employee the choice of how they want to get paid. Do they want to get paid in their local currency or do they want to get paid in gold or any percentage of both of them. And uh, actually at Bitgold we kind of eat our own cooking. We, we started that. Uh, we have employees in Canada, we have employees in Russia, we have employees in Milan and in the UK. And every employee around the world we give them the choice of every paycheck. Is there any percentage of your paycheck you want to get paid in gold versus your local currency? And um, uh, it's a very simple process. And for every employee, they're actually up uh, versus their local currency. It's almost kind of like getting a raise. Because the value of the gold as opposed to the currency of the same period, they've actually uh, been able to preserve their labor at a much better rate. In fact, actually, we did a quick calculation the other day on, on just deposits on the platform overall. People who moved from their national currencies into buying gold and opening up a big gold deposit. We've already generated about $10 million of wealth for people who have been able to protect their value in gold as opposed to their currency. That's kind of a very powerful and validating thing. It's exactly why we wanted to, to be able to build out this platform that gives people the choice. And it's the same process from an employer standpoint. Like you, you still pay the same taxes and the deductions and the et cetera, but the actual payout can be any percentage. You want 5%, 10%, 50%, 100% in gold. You know, there, there, there's lots of inefficiency on invoicing. There's different different types. There's goods, there's services, people paying for their labor. Another category is micropayments too. Um, whether it's digital goods or physical goods, but typically transactions that are under 
really transactions that are under $100 are difficult from a cross-border standpoint. Under $10 are next to impossible. Because processing costs for under $10, usually under traditional payment systems, is close to 5%. So 5% of $10, it just doesn't become viable for, for you know, if someone's trying to do a, a $2 or a $5 transaction. Um, but using gold, you can do transactions of any size, whether it's 10 cents, a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, or a thousand dollars, it's still a flat one percent fee and to be able to process those transactions. So we actually think it will open up more and more categories of goods that can be sold internationally and a lot more cost effective.